Although it would be nice to have a poster printer in each of our homes and work areas, having such a tool is unfortunately not something that will become a reality for most of us. Due to their initial price at purchase and subsequently maintenance and cartridge replacement cost, most of us will probably never have immediate access to one. However, with the help of our printer and computer program, the ability to create full-size content-rich posters is not out of reach. In this tutorial series, we will explore the different programs that can do this. Do you think Microsoft Excel is just for math and science? You're wrong! You can use Excel for a number of tasks and activities that have nothing to do with numbers. How about making colorful posters for your classroom? Spreadsheet program can be used to make large posters made out of standard size paper. This may work with other spreadsheet programs like OpenOffice, but since I have a good result with Microsoft Excel, I haven't tested that yet. Let me know if you have other ways to do this by writing a comment below. The version I'm using is Microsoft Excel 2016. The menus may be different in other versions, but the step will be the same. Once the Microsoft Excel has been launched on your computer, the following steps will set the stage for poster creation. To allow for resizing, you will need to change the zoom to about 60% to 40% depending on your monitor or how big you want the poster to be. After that, click the page layout in the menu bar and set the orientation of your paper. The orientation will depend on the poster you will be doing. Mine, I will left it like that. Then, click the margin and set the margin at least as low as 0.5 or 0.3 inches. Next, choose the size of your paper, if it's legal or letter. Upon doing that, you will see some guidelines that will position your graphics correctly and will serve as a guide on how many papers you will be using for the poster. Once you're done, you can now import the image on your spreadsheet. By clicking insert, then picture, and browse your computer for the image. Because you'll be stretching out the image, it should be as high resolution as possible. Low resolution graphics will pixelate when stretched and may not give good results. After that, go to File, Print, and choose the printer you will be using, but don't print yet. Your mouse can be used for resizing the general positioning. Use the arrow key for fine position adjustments. Later versions of Excel may allow it to automatically set the number of sheets to print the graphic into. If I use standard letter size paper, it will print on 9 sheets. The final size after printing, trimming, and assembly will be about 24 by 30 inches. Using larger paper if possible can save the time assembling. As long as the graphics resolution is high enough, you have enough toner or ink, there doesn't appear to be upper limits on the size. Also, the print preview, this is a must to see if it will print as you want it to be. You may need to go back several times and adjust the graphic to get it just right. Print the pages, except for the top left sheet, you will need to trim off some of the edges for adjoining sheets. Enough extra graphic for adjoining sheet will print to allow the fine positioning. Then, carefully tape or glue the sheets together, as it would assemble a jigsaw puzzle. 
Be sure that the elements in your poster overlap when the page come together. This will greatly increase your success of putting together your printed poster especially with the internal pages. Because its pages contain a portion of the image that we found on the neighboring page, you will have to make a decision as to which page must be cut prior to the assembly. While it is by no means the only correct way to make the necessary cuts and assemble your finished product, this image meant to guide you along the process. This is a method that usually works best for me. If you're having any tech queries, you can just leave a comment on the related videos, and I will try my best to answer them. So thanks for watching. If this video interests you, click the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. As always, take your use.